Hey there, and welcome to this video. Do you fully understand the LOP function on the FMD Ectis series? If not, then this video is the one to watch. In this video, I will show you three things to remember when making an LOP on the FMD Ectis. My name is Morten and I'm an instructor at Furuno Maritime Training. So before I will show you the three things uh, to remember about the LOP function, let's address the common question. Why do we need to create LOPs when our ship position is shown on the Ectis in real time? Well, the answer lies in verification by creating the LOP, we can independently confirm our ship's position and record this verification in the Ectis voyage log. So, how do we get the LOPs presented on our Ectis screen? Well, first of all, let's go to the instant access bar and then we click display here and in set and then we go to the simple display. In simple display there is a page called tracking and to get your position events presented on the Ectis display then you have to check mark the position events and then you have to ch choose the filtering function like how old should the positions be when they are presented here. So I'll just say newer than 12 hours. And then remember, always press save. Now, if you make an LOP, it will be presented on the Ectis screen. So how to make an LOP? Well, you have to go to the, first of all, you have to take a bearing and a distance on a radar or a bearing diopter, okay? And then transfer it to the Ectis. So first we click the lock button and then we go to the event lock and then position event. Yes. You see, the first thing that will appear is the LOP function. And then on the Ectis map, you click on what you have taken a bearing and a distance on. Okay? See, there's a stipulated line. Now it's only a bearing. Okay. But if I change here, in this here, to true bearing and distance, see, now a stipulated distance and a bearing. Okay, then I can input the bearing here. Let's say it was maybe 20, I took the bearing, it was 20 degrees, and the distance was 6.5 nautical miles. And the only thing I have to do then is press add. See, now it's a whole line, and then I can, it has calculated an estimated position for me, and I can press record. See, and now it appears on the radar display, my estimated position, and I have now verified my position. Then, let's say you take a bearing and a distance to something. There's not so many things you can take bearing and distance of. And then you take a bearing and distance, and then that goes a short while, and then you take one more. How can I transfer the bearing and a distance to the other one? It's called transferring uh, to the latest, it's called, actually. So up here you have something up here where you can say transfer to latest or continuous transfer. That is a function you can use 
if you don't have so many things to take bearing and distance of. Okay, so if I click this one, I have the possibility to transfer my bearings to the latest bearing. Or I can use the continuous transfer and the bearing and distance will follow the ship in real time. So there you have it. You now have a understanding of the LOP function on the Furuno FMD Ectis. And remember, practice, practice, practice. That is the only way that you will master the LOP function. So, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.